What's up, everybody? If you're new here and this is your first time seeing a Jive Turkey video, I want you to hit the subscribe button and hit the alert bell, although I know you won't, but whatever. I'm not gonna do my usual intro because I just wanna get down to, you know, just get right down to business and tell you guys what I felt about the Call of Duty beta. I, one main thing, one main thing that means a whole lot to me that didn't happen, not one time this beta. It might not be a big deal to other people, or you might not even have noticed it. But I didn't get knifed, not one time, the whole beta. Not one time. I'm going to go over the negatives and the positives. One of my positives is that. Like, I didn't, uh, nobody was running around with only a knife or uh, only a shovel or a machete or anything stupid like that. That's a big positive to me. Another positive is we are in the modern setting again. We got M4s. We got AKs. We got MP5s. We got SMGs. We got, you know, LMGs. A modern setting. That is, that's a buyer for me right there. Another positive is the cross-platform play. It's no more excuses of, hey, we can't game together because you're on PlayStation and he's on Xbox and I'm on PC. The cross-platform play is a great implementation. The gameplay was great. It's easy on the eyes. The connections were pretty solid for it to be like a stress test on the servers. Although I heard a lot of people talk about they had a lot of hit detection issues, which I didn't. The game pretty much ran solid for me. The guy I just killed right there might have had those issues. Maybe it was you. But for the most part, the game ran pretty solid for me. One of the only issues was changing lobbies every time you end a game. I don't know if that was by design or, you know, to keep everybody playing with each other, pause. But I think that was a bad choice. Why not stay in the lobby that you're in so people can talk and stuff like that and build friendships and stuff like that? You, you, you know, that, that goes a, a large way. You don't just play a game and then boot everybody out the lobby, then you find another lobby again. I don't know if that was a design or if it was just a flaw in the game. I didn't have a big problem with the maps. I thought they were simple maps, just like the basic Call of Duty. But the problem came in where they were too parkour -y, if you get what I mean. Like the map Hackney Yard. It's a simple map, but you can climb on everything. And people can climb on high roofs that you're not used to seeing in Call of Duty. People used to like Call of Duty and the maps because of the simplicity of the maps. And I'm talking from a 6v6 aspect. I'm not talking about the 20v20 or the 50v50 or whatever. Like I said in one of my videos, I think that they built the maps for 32v32 or whatever their largest scale is, and then they just cut off a section. That's why it's a whole bunch of windows. It's a simple fix. If you're playing 6v6, all you have to do, if you're Infinity Ward I'm talking about, all they have to do is block some windows. If you're playing 6v6 mode, oh shit, look, that window's closed. But when I'm playing Ground War, that window's open. Oh my God! But they won't do that. They have some type of pride. They're not going to work three years on some maps and then say, okay, let's seal the windows because people want the windows sealed. You know, that's just not going to happen. Just like I made a commentary about Black Ops 4 when the game first came out with the specialists. Everybody was saying, just make it into a kill streak. But they won't do that. They already worked three years on it. It's supposed to be like that. That's how they want the game. 
It's not going to change. They're not going to say, okay, these guys want it to be a kill streak, so let me code it in. It's going to take too much work for them to do that. They're lazy. They made their money. So the game is going to be like this. And a question that I get all the time, is Call of Duty Modern Warfare going to be one of the best Call of Duties? Does it have potential to be one of the best Call of Duties? Yes. It has all of the ingredients in the beta. We see the potential. Like a game like Black Ops 4, when I saw that game, I said, that's not going to be a good game. Because some things are the game and some things aren't the game. Let me give you guys an example. Black Ops 4. There's dancing in the game. Silly dances and acting like a kid and stuff like that and running around with a Christmas bell meleeing. That's the game. If you played this game, oh, people were camping too much. That's not the game. That's the players. They just happen to be playing like that. You're running around. What if you run into a lobby where other people are running around? See, that's not the game. One game, it's the game. It's a di You're running around with a dinner bell meleeing people and getting kills from one hit. That's the game. While this game has a lot of bugs and things they can fix through a patch. Like spawns like that. Or just spawning in front of an enemy. They can fix that. I left the game, and that's another conversation to be had about matchmaking. I think some type of skill-based matchmaking was in this game, or some type of lobby-based skill matchmaking. Because I heard a lot of people talking about how PC players were in our lobbies and this and that, but I was not getting any console lobbies whatsoever. All of my lobbies were PC. And the console people that joined my lobbies, it would be a full PC lobby, two console players. And the console players were good fucking players. So I think there was some type of skill-based matchmaking in the game. Or when I was in a lobby, they just threw all the bad players on my team. I never was in a lobby where we just pummeled the players unless I teamed up with Moho and the guys and we played in a park. And I'm not saying we went 700 and 0 or anything, but you can see that it's obvious that it was some type of lobby-based matchmaking because when we would win against someone, it's one player on the other team that had a good score, and everybody else were bad. And, I mean, they're not going to put that player on our team because it's some type of lobby-based, skill-based matchmaking. We were in a party, so we have to go to the other team. And then this one guy that's good has to go on the other team. You got to go against those guys because you're good. So they put him on the other team. Every loss that I had, not saying everyone, but most of the losses that I had, when we got brutally destroyed, I was that one player on that other team that had 17 kills and four deaths and everybody else on my team went 5 and 13 and 6 and 19 and stuff like that. It's obvious that it's some kind of lobby-based matchmaking. They put the best player on another team and put all of the bad players on his team for some reason. I don't know why they do that in Call of Duty. The spawns. I don't know who tested this game. I don't know who tested this game and said, hey, let's throw it out there. It's ready. 
Why can't you get 12 people, 6v6, why can't you get 12 people to play the game for six hours and say, hey, Hackney Yard, the spawns are not right. When you spawn where I just spawned, when you spawn over here, it's no spawn flipping. Like, a player has to run to the other side and wait there for a while for a couple people on his team to die so they can spawn with him on the other side. That's what I do, and I might have did it in this gameplay, I'm not sure, but that's the only way to flip the spawns. The spawns will not flip. But like I said, that's a bug, not the game. I really think that this is an easy fix. The spawns, and I remember in Black Ops 1, the spawns were atrocious when the game first dropped. This was before they gave us betas and stuff. So now they gave us this beta so we can test it. So I hope, I'm doing the quote fingers, I hope that they fix the spawns. Now let's talk about the maps. This map right here, I think it's a horrible map. I just think it's too small. And like I said earlier in the commentary, it's too parkour -y. Every wall you look at, people can peek over the walls. It's too much stuff to climb up on. And like right there to the, right there, that roof behind it, where that big chimney thing, I, I don't know what it is. People can climb all the way up there. Sometimes it's four people up there and you run and then you look right and it's four people up there in four different spots aiming at you. I would rather it to be windows because one person can fit in the window and usually when two people go in a window and one person dies in the front, both people die from a double kill. So you don't want to have multiple people in a window. So I would rather it to be windows than multiple wall head glitches. Everybody could get up on everything. This is just the one of the worst map designs that I've ever seen. Like it looks visually nice, but it's just too parkoury. The other maps, the cave map, the cave was a big problem when the game first started, but now I know exactly what corners are where and what to look at, so the cave map is not a big problem to me. And the other map, Gunrunner, I think that's the name, with the train on it, I don't think that's a bad map either. I think that's an okay map, but the spawns on all the maps are wishy-washy, but this map has the worst spawns of them all. With that being said, I think the maps were okay. The maps were Overflow on Black Ops 2. Overflow was an okay map, but if another map's there, you won't vote for Overflow. So they better have good maps when this game launches. If this game launches with bad maps, the game will be a bad game. I'm one of the people who always says the game usually is only as good as the maps, other than Black Ops 4. I, I don't care if they put all good maps on that game. It's just bad. In my opinion, TTK is too low. TTK is time to kill. I don't want TTK to be Black Ops 4 time to kill, but I'm sure... That guy that I just killed thought I killed him with a shotgun. Sometimes when I get killed, I thought I got sniped or with a shotgun how fast I died. And then I look at the kill cam and be like, wow, he shot me with a regular gun. The game will not be enjoyable if TTK stays this quickly. I want it to be like Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3. Remember Call of Duty 4, regular, the original Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4 is time to kill in the original game. 
and then the time to kill in the remake was just so quick and it died so fast. Nobody played that game. So what did we learn here? Jive is not being paid by Activision. I think the maps are average. I don't think they're garbage because this one is garbage, but the other two are average. And you can't have fun playing all average maps. It has to be a favela in there. It has to be a standoff in there. It has to be a raid in there. It has to be a hard hat in there. And I'm not talking about remakes of a map. I'm talking about new maps, new experiences, new fun. And remember, Michael Jordan is the Jive Turkey of basketball. I'm out.